Morning. You're joining me in the engine room today because we've got a little job that needs doing. One of the things we liked when we bought this boat was the fact that it had a fuel gauge and a water gauge. Since we've been on the boat though, we've found out that we've got an issue with the water gauge. And that is what we're hoping to try and rectify today. So these are our two gauges. The one on the left is our diesel gauge and the one on the right is our water gauge and this is the one that we've got a problem with. As you can see, the needles indicate and we've got just under half a tank of water. The problem is, it always tells us we've got under half a tank of water whether it's an empty tank or a full tank. And this is the problem that we're trying to sort out. I think it's the sender unit that's failed up the other end in the water tank. So let's get up the other end and see if we can rectify it. So as you can see, this is our access panel. Underneath this gives us access to the top of the water tank and to the bow thruster motor. As you can see, there's quite a lot of screws to get out, so uh, join me in a second. Okay guys, so we're in. This is the top of the water tank and this is the original sender that's on. This is the one that we think is damaged and that we're going to replace. So hopefully we just undo those screws. This will come out and we can replace it with the new one, which I'll show you shortly. Right, okay, so this is the old sender unit that's come out. It is broken. There's supposed to be a float arm that comes off this mechanism here, and that's what changes the resistance up top, and then gives the gauge at the other end a reading. So let's replace it with a new one. Right, so this is the new sender unit. Instead of this having a floating arm, this just uses this mechanism that travels up and down the rod and triggers some little switches inside to give us an indication of how much water we've got in. The old one had some connectors on the other end uh, of the wiring, so we're gonna have to put some connectors on the end of this and then we can marry it all up. Uh, so it should, hopefully, fingers crossed, be a simple fix. Right, so we've had a little problem. Of course, things are going too good. There's a backing plate that the screws, the, the holes that these go through and the ones that the existing ones went through. These holes are too big and there must be a backing plate. As we've unscrewed that to lift that out, the backing plate must have fell off. That's inside the tank. So we just need to undo these bolts now to take this access panel off and then we can do that. In fairness that will give us a good look inside the water tank as well. Um, so I can actually see what kind of condition inside the water tank is. So it's a little bit of an inconvenience but do you know what, at least I'll see what the state of the water tank is inside. Got a cup 
for the result, we should be good to go. Right, so the new sender is now in place. We've just got to bolt this panel back down. We'll give it one check to make sure everything's okay. And then when we've done that, we can bolt the uh, access panel back down to the well deck and that should be job done. Let's get on with that. We will put some tape around those, I think, as well, and then we can uh, just make sure that they're definitely protected. So we'll get some tape onto that. That's the job done. Bit of a disclaimer: I'm not a professional at this. This is just how I've done it. I'm not recommending that this is how you do it or should do it. If in doubt, get a professional to fit it or seek professional advice. This is just how I've done it for, for my particular setup for myself. Um, all that's left for me to do now is put this panel back down uh, after I've taped these wires up. And that's it, job finished. We'll nip down the other end and see whether the tank gauge is working. Well, so there you go. The job's done at the front of the boat. We're now back at the back looking at the water gauge. And as you can see, the water tank is empty. There is a few inches of water left in the tank at the front, but yeah, it's pretty much empty. So I'm happy with the fact that that's shown us as empty. It's now time to fill the water tank up and make sure that that gauge is rising with it. Well there you go guys, uh, as you can see it looks like the gauge is working fine now, we've got a full water tank, the gauge is showing that it's full, so that looks like it's been another successful job. All that's left for me to say is thank you very much for watching, really do appreciate it. If you haven't already, please subscribe, hit the like button, hit the notification bell and any comments leave them down below. Thanks for watching.